I think our focus this year was to create true battles for possession, which is talking about 1v1 battles uh, using physicality to try and win back possession, more opportunities for de defenders to get in and win possession. And the other thing that we wanted to do was deliver the opportunity for creativity and freedom in attack. And that's very much talking about 1v1 situations, taking people on with the dribble, um, and what your, what your players do for you when you're on the ball and how they're working for you to try and create opportunities for you to break down the opposition. So there's a lot that it does in terms of single players when we speak of the five major features that we that we, we brought to the table this year. Specifically what I'm talking about there is the first touch control feature uh, and I like to think of it a lot like how we added tactical defending in FIFA 12 and that was a big change in the game because we asked you to think differently about how you defended uh, in different situations in FIFA. First touch control is the same way in that we're asking you to think differently about how you bring the ball down and what effect that might have on you in every situation on the pitch. So for instance, if you looked at FIFA 12, every time a ball came into your player, it didn't matter who they were, what ability they had, what situation they were in, the ball could be coming from way up high or bouncing or rolling or spinning. All of these factors could come in and that player would almost always take a perfect touch, which is a little bit unrealistic. So this year what we wanted to do is take all of those, those learnings that we got from our kicking error system, understanding the context of the ball. Is it moving in fast? Is it moving across my body? Is it raining right now? Is, is the ball bouncing? Is there a guy on my back pulling my shirt or giving me a shove? All of these things will factor into how well you can control the ball. And of course, how good am I at controlling the ball? Am I Lionel Messi or am I a third division player that really struggles to bring the ball down? And that inherently is going to change the way that people approach the game because now they're not going to put players that can't cope with that into those difficult situations. So we're asking you to not drive a ball at somebody 20 yards away with a player on his back if you think that the risk of him losing the ball isn't worth the benefits of, of him potentially succeeding. And now we're thinking about approaching attacking in a completely different way in FIFA 13. But aren't you afraid that in the future with FIFA 13 no one is going to play with, for example, uh, Blackburn Rovers because you know up front that maybe he's going to lose the ball or maybe you have to yeah, pass it around a little bit more instead of making the risky pass? No, I mean, this is actually one of the benefits. It's kind of a hidden benefit that we get out of this feature is the game plays differently at every level, and that's the beauty of it. When you're playing with Barcelona, you may approach the game completely differently than if you're playing with Blackburn or playing with somebody way down in a lower division below Blackburn. Um, now you're thinking about the game. I don't have Messi and I don't have Xavi and I don't have Fabregas in my team, so I can't knock the ball around one touches and do that. I need to find a different way to approach the game. I need to get it out wide to cross it into my big striker because those are the strengths of my team. So in, in effect what it does is it allows stars to shine and the great players in the world do what they do very well, which makes that experience very different, not necessarily better or worse, but different than an experience over here. So you can experience that lower division football at a different level because you have to approach the game completely differently because the abilities of your players are different than the abilities of, of Barcelona. So it actually enriches both sides of the game and gives us uh, a, a deeper and broader experience of football across the title, which is something I'm quite excited about. I think we brought in uh, attacking intelligence as a feature this year that focuses on our AI. It was the number one uh, point of feedback that we got from our community this year. They didn't feel like the guys on their team were working hard enough to get into good position. So we've restructured the way that our precisioning system works so that these players analyze space better. We've given them new abilities so that they can adjust what they're doing while the play is happening to give you better opportunities. They make their runs more with convi conviction now. They can now curve around defenders to find good space behind in situations that they couldn't do in FIFA 12. So they have a lot more weapons in their arsenal to be able to create good opportunities for you. Plus we've given them the ability to think two plays ahead so they're actively thinking more like professional footballers anticipating the play of what might happen, who's likely to get the ball next, how can I position myself for that player because he's going to be important in the future. And they're making these decisions on, on a fundamental level now all over the game which changes the flow of the game and creates a lot more opportunity for you to be creative in attack. <laughs> 